guys, welcome back to my channel. Happy Thanksgiving to those of you that are celebrating today, which I know is not everyone, not all of my viewers are from America or celebrate this holiday, but I do, and in celebration of my gratitude for all of you guys for this wonderful hobby of makeup that we all share, I thought we could do a get ready with me style video using some really awesome makeup products. I have dug into my collection and picked out some things that I haven't used for a while that are old favorites. I have an eyeshadow palette here that I'm using to create this eye look today that I am loving, by the way, that I kind of forgot about and it is exceptional. I have a good lip combination I haven't used for a while, a good foundation concoction that I kind of tried out for the first time today, a K-Beauty brow product, an old favorite mascara and gel liner. All in all, lots of good stuff. I can't wait to share it with you guys today, but before we do, a special welcome to those of you that are new to my channel. So happy that you found me here on YouTube. I hope that you'll consider subscribing if you haven't done that yet. Make sure your notification bell is turned on if you'd like to be notified every time I upload a new video. And with all that said, we do have a lot of makeup to put on today, so let's get right to it. Guys, let's kick things off with some primer. So today I'm actually gonna use my Hollywood Flawless Filter as a primer. I've mentioned several times that I don't typically use this as a primer, but I really need to get a move on using this thing up and using it as a liquid highlighter, I'm never gonna get through this. So I figure I might as well try and use it as a primer. And today I thought would be a good chance to do that. So I'm just gonna take two little swipes or large swipes on the back of my hand. That's quite a bit, that might be a little bit too much, but I'm just gonna use my fingers to apply this today. Okay, wow, that is so glowy. Let's now add some foundation on top. So I'm actually gonna combine two different foundations today. I'm taking my CYO Life Proof Foundation. I know this has been discontinued, though I think that Soap and Glory makes the version of this. I think they're like made by the same company. I, I'm not sure, don't quote me on that, but I've heard people mentioned that Soap and Glory has this same foundation because they're the same parent company or something. Today I'm gonna to combine a pump of that. This is the shade 105 with about a quarter pump of the Flower Beauty Get Real Serum Foundation. This one I have in the shade Nude L3. Let's use a brush for this today. So I have this brush from Refer. This is a newer brush that they sent to me. It's the number 31 brush. It's kind of a duo fiber, flat top stippling looking brush. I've used it with a cream bronzer, but I wanna try a foundation with this brush. I have been kind of into using a brush for foundations lately. Probably the biggest thing I like about using a brush for a foundation is it keeps my hands a little bit cleaner than when I use a sponge or my fingers. It feels like a really nice combination. The shade match seems to be just about right. You have just a little bit of tan from our Hawaii trip. I have like the perfect amount of tan that sadly will be gone in about three days. Okay, but I'm gonna enjoy it while I can. All right, that is looking really nice. Good solid medium coverage, very nice concoction. I like this little mixture together. Let's add some concealer. So I'm gonna take my Tarte Ultra Creamy Concealer today. I have the shade 22N. Hopefully this one's not too light for me. Oh no, it'll be just right, I think. And I just forgot, I had planned to use the Milk Makeup Eye Primer and Concealer Primer today. So I'm actually gonna put that on my eyelids kind of at the same time. Technically you're supposed to put this on first and kind of let it dry down a little bit before you top it with concealer, but I've tried it both ways. And I don't notice a huge difference either way, so we're just gonna do this order today. Tap that across my eyelids first and then come back with a little bit more concealer if I need it. I do want to do a pretty bold eye today, so I might want to add a little extra concealer to my eyelids. In fact, I might dip back into my older regular Tarte Shape Tape. I have a lighter shade of that and that stuff works really well as an eyeshadow primer just to cancel everything out underneath. So for those of you that do celebrate Thanksgiving, I would love to know what plans you have, what food you guys look forward to eating. I am planning to make my legendary chocolate mousse pie this year. 
I hope it works out though because we're traveling down to my husband's parents' house and I know there's gonna be a lot of people in that kitchen that morning so I'm hoping that I have some time and some space to make my homemade chocolate mousse pie. It's like my favorite dessert in the world. I absolutely love it. By the way, I'll link that recipe down below. Just in case you're curious what recipe I use, it also makes a great pie for Christmas time if you don't have a chance to make it during Thanksgiving or if you don't celebrate Thanksgiving. Okay, there's concealer. Let's take just a touch of my Tarte regular shape tape. I have the shade Fair. This one is quite light for me, but it works good as an eyeshadow primer. Hopefully that's not too much. I also am very picky on Thanksgiving about ham. I love a good like spiral cut ham, like a honey baked kind of ham. I actually prefer it to turkey. And a couple years ago for Thanksgiving, someone else brought just like a regular like hawk of ham. It wasn't like spiral cut and glazed and it wasn't quite as good. So I have been sure to bring my own ham because that's like the one thing like a Thanksgiving is not Thanksgiving without a glazed ham. Now I'm just taking a little bit of my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder across ooh, my eyelids just to set them in place. Also gonna take a little bit up here on my forehead and a little on the side of my nose and just what's left kind of across my cheeks. We are using a powder bronzer today that will help it to blend a little bit better. Okay, let's jump over to the eyes before we finish off with the rest of the face. So today for my eyes, I really wanted to dip into the Juvia's Place Nubian 3 Coral Palette. I was on the Juvia's Place website just the other day doing some research for my Black Friday eyeshadow stills video and I noticed an image using this palette of a really beautiful look that I want to try and recreate. If I can find that image, I'll link it here for you guys. But otherwise, we're just going to try and recreate it. Basically, the look just had some pinks and berries and corals in the crease and outer corner and then the silver all over the inner lid. Oh, so pretty. This is a really fun color combination that I on my own would never have put these colors together, but they actually do pair pretty nicely. So we're gonna jump in first with this shade right here. It's kind of a dusty mauve shade. Let's take that as kind of our base color through the crease and the outer half of the lid. I wanna layer up some of these berry tones. Maybe add a pop of that brighter coral right through the crease as well. So I'm really building this up quite a bit, a couple layers, and I'm not being too precise with it. If I need to come back and do a little bit of cleanup down here with my concealer sponge, I can do that later. By the way, I'm using my Nabla number 306 brush, just a big fluffy blending brush. Let's now take a little bit of this pink right here. It's just a little bit lighter, a little bit brighter. We're gonna run that just slightly above my socket. All right, now let's start building up a little bit of depth in the outer corner. We're gonna take this darkest shade right here. It's kind of a deep, burgundy sort of brown. And for that one, I wanna use my rougher number 13 small blending brush. I'm just gonna start tapping this along the lash line and up through that outer crease area. Oh, I love this color. This is like my dream color for my outer corner. I know it's looking a little dark and smoky right now, but I think this is gonna come together really nicely once we get all the rest of the makeup done. Eyeliner, mascara on, all that good stuff. Oh, I just realized I forgot to zoom you guys in. Let me zoom you in real quick and we'll finish off. Okay, so now we're going to take this little smudge brush. This is from that same Nabla set, it's the number 204. I'm gonna take a little bit of that dusty mauve shade. I'm just gonna add a little bit more of this to my lower lash line before we start to kind of smoke it out. Kind of just running this around the edge of that darker shade to kind of round things out. I want to do a tiny bit of this kind of red shade on the outer part of the lid just to kind of go slightly overlap that darker matte that we built up there. This is going to kind of go on the outer, not quite half because I'm starting at the halfway point, but I'm not going all the way out to this outer corner. Same thing on the other side. I know this isn't look very good yet until we start to blend things out and overlap. But I want that silver to have something to kind of bleed into. This might be a little different than what the picture did, but I just like the pop of red. I think that's really pretty. Back to that small blending brush. Nothing left on here. I'm just slightly feathering that 
into that shimmery coral. I have been a couple times where I've talked about the Juvia's Place palettes. A lot of you have mentioned the Coral 3 is one of your favorite palettes. It is a beautiful palette. I think it's one that has kind of been underrated by me just because I have so many favorites from Juvia's Place. Now I wiped off that finger that I used. I'm going to take that same finger. I'm just going to kind of smudge out this edge right here so that silver has somewhere to blend into. And now we're going to go in with the silver right here, the lightest silver in the corner. I'm going to use my finger again, and we're going to start building this up on the inner half of the lid. It looks like in the picture this goes about two-thirds of the way across, but I want most of the pigment to be right there on the inner part, and then just slightly overlap. Blend over that red a little bit. I'm wiping that finger off again. I'm just going to tap this section right here. Make sure it's all blended together, those two shimmers. And now I'm going to go back to that small blending brush. I'm going to dip back into a tiny bit of the dark red-brown right there. I'm just lightly going to feather that, this outer corner, just to bring back any of that depth we might have lost. A pretty combination. Quirly reds and browns and silver. That's so pretty together. Okay, let's now, I thought about adding some more to the lower lash line. I think I'm good on the lower lash line though. I don't want to be too dark down there. Just taking this brush, what's left on it, just to make sure we're nice and blended down there. Kind of shape out this outer corner a little bit. And I'm going to take my sponge that I use for my concealer. I'm just going to tap this right below where I just went with that brush to make sure I don't have much color down there. All right, now I want to add some liner. I'm going to take a gel liner today. I'm going to take this one from BH Cosmetics. I don't think they sell this anymore. I've had, I think I got this last Christmas time, and honestly, I've only dipped into it like twice, so I need to try and get some more use out of it. It is a really good gel liner. I'm going to use it today with my Sephora brow brush. This is a really nice little brush that I've been wanting to use with a gel liner because it's so thin up here at the top, and I love using angled brushes with gel liner. I think I prefer angled brushes to the ones that are like, let me show you, like this type of a brush, the bent kind of small liner brushes. I like angled brushes just a little bit better when I'm working with the gel. And if you look at the picture, let me just pull it up on my phone really quick. I know you guys probably won't be able to see this very well, but if you look at this picture, she obviously has false eyelashes on, which I'm not going to do today, but she does have quite a bit of liner or that might be her lash band, so I want to do a pretty heavy line to try and mimic that. I feel like the eyeshadow color, I feel like we got pretty close, so let me try and mimic the liner as well. Okay, I'm going to give my eyelashes a quick curl, then I'm going to add a couple coats of my It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara, and I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, guys, here's the finished eye look. I forgot to do my eyebrows. Let's do that now. I'm going to take a little bit of my L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer. This thing I am just about out of. That is the very last bit of it. So I'm actually going to use a tinted brow gel today, so I just want to add a tiny bit of this right to the underside of my brows where I need some help. And then the brow gel that I'm using today is one I got from YesStyle. This is from the brand The Same. It's called their Brow Cara. This one's a little bit warm for me. I have the shade 04 Ash Brown, but let me give it like a swatch on the back of my hand. There it is right there. It's not it's not too warm, but it's it's also a little bit dark, so I have to be very careful with this one. If I go overboard with this tinted brow gel, Brows can look a little crazy, but it is really quick. Just take my finger and clean up. I always get a little bit of mess up in the arch area. Then I'm going to take the back end of that spoolie on the L'Oreal just to shape them out a little bit before that brow gel sits down all the way. There we go. Maybe a little bit dark, but my eye's pretty smoky today, so I think we can get away with it. Let's finish off with the face. I'm going to start off with a bronzer. I'm going to take my Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer today. I took this to Hawaii with me, and I love this bronzer. It is so, so good. I'm going to take my Alter Ego number two brush. It's just like the powder brush that comes in the Alter Ego set. I actually like this brush a lot for a bronzer. It's more of a flat-topped brush, but I've been kind of into that 
for powder bronzers lately. I'm just going to start tapping that right on my cheeks. There we go. I always feel like a smoky eye without your cheeks done looks a little bit crazy. It's already looking better. Just a little bit up here on my forehead. Tiny bit along the sides of my neck. And then on top of that, I want to layer a little bit of blush. I'm going to take my Juicy Paying Water Blushers. I have two shades here today. PK03, this is the Guava shade, and PK02. This one's just a really nice, deeper rose tone. I want to mix these two together. I feel like these two will match my eyes really well. Let me just show you them separately on the back of my hand. PK03 on the top, PK02 on the bottom. Let's mix those together first with my finger. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, that's gonna be perfect. Now let's take a small brush. This is also from the Alter Ego set, the number four brush. I love this brush for liquid or cream blushes because it's really nice and small. I build that up in the brush and then just lightly tap. I kind of go back and forth between my cheeks so I don't get too much on one side. And then I'm gonna take that sponge that I used for my concealer. I'm just gonna tap that along the edges, especially this area right here. Sometimes my blush tends to spread out into this like smile line right there and I don't usually like it there. So I like to kind of pull some of that blush off with my sponge. There we go, that's perfect. Let's add some highlighter for highlighter today. I pulled out my Natasha Denona Super Glow Highlighter. I have the shade number two. Mine's been having some issues with packaging. The, the powder's starting to fall out of the pan, so I have to be careful with this one, but I do love this highlighter. By the way, I was on Natasha Denona's website the other day, and I noticed that she has some combination cheek and eye palettes that look really, really interesting to me. You guys know how much I love the Natasha Denona mini palettes. They basically look like a mini palette combined with a highlighter and a blush, I think, or maybe they were bronzer and a highlighter. I can't remember exactly, but last but not least, let's finish off with the lips. So for the lips today, I pulled out the liquid lipstick and lip gloss from the Ofra Samantha March collection. The lipstick is in the shade Story. This is really beautiful. It's borderline. Initially, I thought it might be a little bit too dark for me, but it actually doesn't look as dark on me as it appears inside the tube or in a swatch, especially when I combine it with the gloss on top, which I am planning to do. So pretty that shade is but what really makes this work for me is the lighter gloss on the inside because it is just a hair dark for what I like on myself but this gloss is perfect on top this is the gloss in the shade Millie I love this gloss it's one of my favorites in my collection I don't use it very often because it's so small I'm afraid of it running out which is like the story of my life I do that with so many makeup products I need to stop come on Mandy you've been doing this for like three years now stop saving your makeup products and then letting them expire So let's add a little bit of setting spray on top. I think today I want to take my Urban Decay Ultra Glow setting spray. There we have it. That is the completed makeup look today. What do you guys think of this one? Do you feel like my lips are a little bit too dark? I think they're like borderline dark, but sometimes I think that and I go to edit the video. I'm like, they're fine, Mandy. Why are you freaking out about the color of your lips? Such a pretty color though. Love this eye look. Honestly, this is like one of my favorite eye looks I think I've done in a while. I definitely need to keep that palette out and use it this holiday season. Big thank you to you guys on this Thanksgiving day. I am so grateful for you guys. I really appreciate you guys watching my videos for your support, for your engagement. I'm so happy to be able to do what I I do here and that is only because of you guys so thank you again for watching my videos let me remind you one more time if you haven't subscribed i hope you'll consider doing that before you leave happy thanksgiving to those of you that are celebrating hope you guys are doing well thank you again i will see you all very soon in my next video bye update i did try surfing out by the way in hawaii twice we did it two days and it was a lot harder than i thought it would be i was hoping that my snowboard skills from high school would transfer they didn't. I did stand up a few times at the end of day two, but man, you guys, not easy. Are you really planning to do the fist under the chin pose for your thumbnail, Mandy? Very early 2000s, Napoleon Dynamite. Oh, what's her name? Do you remember the pony's name? I don't know. Sunny. Sunny? Oh.